गवर्नमेंट अफिसियल कथा टाइम सत्य ना मिथ्या तर साल सजेदुल इसलम नामे एक लोक के गुम करपी नेता कर्मी फलोवर्स का गुम कर सदा पोशा के तरा तुले गो तारा जो तुले गेक्ट नहीं दुहजार तर थे तार बन सजेदुल इसलम बन सजेदुल इसलम बन सजिदा इसलम तुली एवं हजेरा खातुन उनारा एक अर्गानाइजेशन कर गुम कर तर मा खला बन आत्मयरा मिले बांगलेश अर्गानाइजेशन करगानाइजेशन ट नाम मायर डाक मायर डाक अर्गानाइजेशन अमेरिकान एम्बासि वेस्टार्न गवर्नमेंट दूतवास गुरहा चेहरे कारण बांगलेश सरकार प्रकार कोअपारेशन पाये जख पाये इंटरनैशनल फोराम सबजेक्ट रेज कर तो लाखी साम ओ गार दटेंशन अब अमेरिकान एम्बेसिडर पीटर हैस सो पीटर हैस डिसेम्बर तेर तारीखे डिसाइड कर नेक्स्ट डे ते से बसाय जा सजिद इसलम तुली पुलिस लीग दे नट इवें नीड दर दर्शक कथार जबलोर करीगर गुण व्यवहार करे क्यों करना कारा कर गवर्नमेंट अफिसियल कथा टाइम सत्य ना मिथ्या तो गवर्नमेंट अफिसियल कारा पुलिस अफिसारा रैप कर सी आई डी डिजिएफ आई करा करे तो जरा खबर बहरे दिए दिए तीन एम्बेसिडर शाहन बागे ग गुम कर उद्योगे जो पीटर हास पुलिस रैप 
আরো একটা স্লোগান নিয়ে একটা দল ওখানে দাঁড়ায় গেল যারা গভর্নমেন্ট তাদেরকে সেট করে নিয়ে গেছে একটা সংগঠন যে সংগঠনটার নাম হলো মায়ের কান্না মায়ের কান্না হলো ভুই ফোর একটা সংগঠন বাট বাংলাদেশ দিস ইজ স্টুপেট well think about the crackdowns that have happened um you know no, four four or five no, days no, ago let me, let me ask you the question because i'm i'm gonna forget please she not claim she's the owner of our milk right so she has a close circle especially two types of close circle one some idiot people without education and quality she appoint them as minister or giving them position those who are not qualified to hold that position right one group there is another group those are armed cadre even though country has a law enforcement she don't use that law enforcement law enf- using law enforcement is the secondary to her do you know what she does the jubilee cadre the president of jubilee at that time was jahangir kabir nanak a guy named nanak she ordered nanak attack the vehicle of the american ambassador Masha Barnika. Is there is there what is what is the um and I'm sure it exists but I'm curious what the proof is connecting uh Hasan's regime and these acts against Barnika. Okay. This is the this is the proof. Do you know what after the incident after the incident there is a serious protest from US embassy and state department. At that time Hasina regime says oh who will prosecute we are going to apprehend those people who attack masha barnika guess what they arrested couple of people those are the low level they told them oh police are going to arrest you guys just go surrender and says you made a mistake we're going to release you within 24 hours right and uh, it was just a nominal act to uh, quell the, the international the and, and the United States happy. outrage. Oh, America, we did something. Your right. ambassador came under attack, so we did something. Now, a country should be held responsible if they fail to protect a diplomat in their country. And what if it's, this is really bad? not only bangladesh failed to protect us ambassador rather they're the one step behind and push the people to attack the ambassador what do you think america should right. stay quiet well yes of course i mean like we discussed um everything that uh, arises from diplomatic immunity uh, applies to um to mr hoss and and applied to barnegat but ultimately maybe this is something as unfortunate as it is that Mr. Haas had to endure this and um and the evident danger that he's in perhaps this winds up being a good thing for Bangladesh and for um the United States uh, and Bangladesh and their relationship in terms of resolving and maybe ultimately uh maybe it's a step in the right direction in terms of bringing down the Haas and regime because when an american diplomat is put in physical danger and there's video of this um well we think about when we see videos of americans in danger internationally i mean what comes to mind is the black hawk down um in somalia. somalia yeah just i mean we can think of dozens i'm sure but that's one that the image was so um shocking to uh, a general american audience and the fact that there exists video of an american ambassador although he wasn't dragged through the streets necessarily but he certainly uh, it appears he was in danger for his life and his safety and he had to flee his own either residence or embassy um uh, that uh, may wind up being a, a galvanizing factor okay rick there is something else i'd like to share You know that according to Vienna Convention, other convention, diplomatic ties with other country, this is completely illegal. Right. To, to track ambassador or diplomat's phone call, or if they are setting up a device or using something 
tracking where the ambassador is going. This is completely illegal. Illegal. Tracking, tracking phone call of the ambassador. This is illegal. Tracking plan of the ambassador. This is illegal. Right. This is not legal by any means. This is completely illegal. Okay. Bangladesh is using Bangla Bangladesh is using uh, the counterterrorism and uh, transitional crime is called CTTC and Rapid Action Battalion RAB and DZFI Directorate General of Field Intelligence of Bangladesh Army they are using Pegasus spywire to track phone call and location of the leader and diplomat whenever they choose to, as their convenience. Also, Bangladesh Army signed a deal with Israeli company named Pick6 Limited in 2019 to get UFED, the Universal Forensic Extraction Device. Okay. Okay. Now, why I bring the subject? First, Bangladesh do not recognize Israel as a state. Okay. There is no diplomatic relationship between Bangladesh and Israel. If a country do not have a diplomatic relationship, they cannot purchase anything, import or export anything from that country. The way America instruct, instruct, instruct all the company and business world that they should not do any business with Iran and Russia. Right. And and North Korea. Not good. Now, Bangladesh Army, Bangladesh Rab and Bangladesh Police, they are using those devices made in Israel. They imported those things illegally, signed those business contracts, bring all those devices. Now, why you and me, we are talking about those devices? I'm talking about those devices for one reason. October, oct I'm sorry, just give me a sec. Uh, December, okay, December, no, August 4, 2018, when Marsha Barnikat was traveling to Mohammedpur, going for a dinner, her phone call was being tracked. How do we know that? Otherwise, she did not disclose her invitation and ambassador did not disclose her itinerary where she would be yeah. where is she going she did not disclose to anybody and they did the same thing with mr peter Haas because they okay, didn't so. reveal anybody that where he's going other than the uh, law enforcement uh, uh, personnel uh, uh, where Rick, there is a there is a simple confidentiality when a country's ambassador like peter Haas or marsha barnicat when they are going to a private house for dinner, they don't disclose to anybody. I'm sure that's their practice, yes. That's their practice. That's the protocol. Right. When Marsha Barnikat went to Mohammedpur to have a dinner, she did not disclose her plan. How police, rap, DZFI, Aumi League, Jubo League, Kutta League, Haram Jada League, Idiot League, Kuttar Bacha, Haram Jada. Everyone knew where Masha Barnikin is going. How? Well, you know, there's a long history, and I'm not sure that we want to... Um, uh, I don't think we want to say that the Israeli government or these Israeli corporations are culpable for this because they've sold this technology all over the world. Remember when they sold the Pegasus technology? Why, uh, uh, Rick, why wouldn't I say that? Can well, I say, he, listen, can I say if I import some product from Israel and with the business agreement, we are saying, oh, Mr. Israel, I'm buying your product. You should send your in engineer to give us a customer service, help us technically to set up right. the device. 